Hey guys, welcome to the Chevy Volt vlog number 47. Today we're going to talk about the two large blind spots in the Chevy Volt, mainly the C-pillars. The C-pillars in the back where the hatch opens and closes. Basically it has a lot of uh, plastic and the C-pillar blocking, even the hatch blocking the view of your side corners, which makes a huge blind spot. If you look in the rear view mirror, basically you can't really see the back person anyways, and that's another issue of the Chevy Volt in terms of visibility. Um, for the rear mirrors that come with it, it really doesn't have a wide angle. Basically, some of the newer newer cars come with a convex mirror. Uh, this one really doesn't, just two big mirrors on the side. Uh, but you really can't see you know those edges, so that's why I actually added three inch uh, wide angle mirrors on mine. For, in order for me to see my blind spots, what I did was I added those three inch mirrors and I also moved the mirrors out further away from my car. In order, they're tilted so that they point right to the blind spot rather than look at the edge of my car. That helps a lot because if I see anything in the in my mirror, that means there's someone in my blind spot. So, or even a, you know, a part of a, someone in the blind spot. Of course, it's hard to see if, you know, they have no lights there. Another thing is to move your rear view mirror up and down. Basically, aim it down so you actually see more of the rear view, um, uh, rear mirror, rear window. Uh, with the five mirrors, basically the wide angle that the side mirrors and also the rear mirror pointed, you know, angled um, around, you can actually see a good, a good picture of what's around your car. Everything from the wide to the middle to the rear, it all kind of, you know, paints a picture of what's around your car. Sure, there's still the blind spot, but at least you know there's something, you could probably see if there's something around your car. So anyways, guys, that's really just a quick tip, you know, it's not, nothing new. Basically, I learned this when I was in driving school and, you know, basically moved my, took my mirrors further out. But adding that, those wide angle mirrors does help to see the lines on the floor or anything else. So I hope that helped, guys. See you next time. Like I said, stay tuned, subscribe, turn on notifications, and, you know, talk to you next time. It's been great. Anyways, have a great one. Drive safe, guys. See you next time. Bye.